In this video, I'm going to show you an example with V0 cursor as well as Grok to quickly build out a transcription application. I'm first going to go over to V0. I'm going to say I want a UI component that accepts a audio file. Then once it's submitted to be transcribed, the transcription will show on the right hand side with the ability to download it. We'll send that through. And here we see it generating. We have this really beautiful UI component. That's really where V0 shines is it has this really great implementation of how to build out these React components with Shad CN UI. What we're going to do here is we're going to copy this command from V0 and I'm going to bun X create next app. We're going to create a brand new Next.js project. And then what we're going to do here is I'm going to paste in the command that we got from V0. Then we're going to install that component from V0. We see this audio transcription component. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add in our audio transcription component. That is a nice feature with cursor where you can see how quickly we had that auto completion. Here we see the audio transcription, but I do see that it's interfering with a lot of the classes from the Next.js template there. Okay, so there we go. We have our starting point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to command shift I and open up our composer view. Now I'm going to say I want to leverage this logic to send audio files to Grok to be processed. Now the other cool thing with cursor is you can add docs. So I added a doc for whisper on cursor. And you can just simply add new docs and then add in the link of the doc and it will index that for you. So I'm going to pass in the context of the Whisper documentation from Grok. And I'm going to say a couple other things. I want to use App Rotor. I want to use the OpenAI SDK and the Grok base URL. And I want to console log everything now on the back end in case there are any errors and I can see what's happening. Also, let's create a .env. I'm going to submit that. And then what it will do, it's going to grab that information from the Grok docs. We see that it's creating the .env for us where we're going to be able to plug in the base URL as well as the Grok API key. We're going to see the edits to the audio transcription component. Then the cool thing with Composer is it can create net new files for you, the .env in this case, as well as the route and the particular directory that it's going to go within. If we just take a quick look at this. We see it's using the OpenAI SDK. It's using the base URL like we saw within the .env. We see that it's console logging pretty much everything. It's correctly using the Whisper large endpoint, which is a model that is available on Grok. I'm going to close out the Composer view. We see that we do have to install OpenAI. So I'm just going to open up a new terminal here and I'm going to bun add OpenAI. And then the other thing that we're going to need is an API key. We can get a free API key from Grok right now, at least at time of recording. And then once you have that, you can go on over to your .env. So you can just plug in your API key. And now I'm just going to go over to 11 labs. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a simple audio file. So I'm going to say, hello world, this is developers digest. We'll click generate speech. We see that voice there. We can download it. And if we go over to our application here, we'll choose that file from 11 labs. We'll click transcribe. So there we go. That's how simple it is to set up an audio transcription app by leveraging Grok as well as V and cursor. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.